Hello, sports fans. Steve, come back at you for Wager Wednesdays. First, we shall recount last week's week 15, where I had my best week yet. I won an astounding 14 and 2. Lost two games. First, the Commanders let me down Sunday night. Actually, they did not. The refs let us all down. One and all, we can agree on that. My other loss, however, the hot sauce pick of the week. I did not want to do this, trust me. I have in my hand a bottle from my sister and her family early Christmas gift called Don't Make Me Open This Jar of Whoop-Ass Bacon Hot Sauce. The Cowboys are making me open this. How damn fitting, Cowboys. Ah. Okay, so we'll take the little hat off, see how that works. And probably better on my nose. <laughs> All right. So let's get to the hot sauce, and then we'll do our week 16 picks. We will start with the beer. Set that down while I open up the whoop ass bacon hot sauce. Oof. Oof. Well, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Never had this, just opened it. It's holy cow, it's thick. Come on. How are we doing? We got some in there. It's do this, get more. Oh, now it's coming out. <laughs> Yay, me. That's probably enough at this point. <clears throat> well, bottoms up, cowboys. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, bacon flavored whoop ass beer. I do not recommend you try that. But let's get right on to week 16, where we have a full Doctor Game Saturday. Remember, Sunday, Christmas Day, three games. The running is scheduled similar to Thanksgiving noon, 3 30 and 7 20. And then one Monday night, of course. We'll start with Thursday night's game, which will begin with my upset pick of the week. I'm going against Vegas. I've done really well with them. This week, I'm taking the Jags over the Jets. That's right. The Jaguars will upset the New York Jets. Then, starting on Saturday, I have the Lions over the Panthers. And by the way, there's a lot of close, close games in here. Hoping I do well. We'll see. <clears throat> I have the Bills to beat the Bears. Should be interesting. Now my hot sauce pick of the week. I have the Vikings over the New York Giants football team. I do have the Chiefs at noon beating the Seahawks, which after this week and how the Texans handled the Chiefs, or once again the referees handled them, we'll see. I have the Browns beating the Saints. And, of course, the Bengals over the Patriots. That'll be a good game to watch. I do have the Titans beating the Texans, along with the Ravens over the Falcons. I have the 49ers to beat the Washington Commanders. And the Cowboys over the Eagles. Diamond Princess, this is your last chance. Come on, Cowboys. I've never, ever rooted for you in my life. And you've done nothing but give me heartburn, literally, ever since. I do have the Steelers over the Raiders. And then on Sunday, I'm picking the Dolphins over the Packers. Let's face it, I'm a Packer fan, but they're not looking that great this year. I have the Broncos over the Rams. I do have the Buccaneers over the Arizona Cardinals. And for Monday Night Football, let's pick the Chargers over 
the Indianapolis Colts without Jonathan Taylor, former Wisconsin Badger. That's your picks. Take it to the bank. Because if you have so far this year, you have been with me and done rather well. So for me, Steve Rademacher and my cowboy fan full of whoop ass, I'm going to let you go. Ponder your life and mistakes today. Tune in tomorrow for Thursdays. Things of interest. Who knows what I'll get? Who knows what I'll open? Saturday, I do have a special Christmas Eve planned with six packs of non-sport cards of Santa from around the world. That's right, trading cards of different Santas. That'll be fun and cool. And after that, you never know what else might happen. Tune in. Stay safe and warm. Be excellent to everybody. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And peace.